Well, hello. My name is Valerie Sutton, and I'm the inventor of the sign writing script. I feel very honored to be invited to speak to you today. Ramon was really nice to invite me, and actually I would have loved to have flown right to Barcelona immediately because I've never been to Spain. I live in La Jolla, California, and uh, we are actually in San Diego. It's right near the Mexican border, and it's a beautiful town, so I hope people from Barcelona will come visit too. <laughs> but I want you to know that I'm very proud and happy to be invited to speak with you because one day I got a gift from Barcelona. I opened up the package and I was totally thrilled. This was the book in the package. And actually, there was a second volume, of course, that goes with it. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> I'm so happy. I must have sat for maybe a couple hours and did nothing but look at every page. I'm just so honored and thrilled and happy to see that there are people in Barcelona writing their sign languages, and so it should be. Sign writing is international in the sense that it is a series of symbols that is not language. It's, it's simply a way to write down the way the body looks while you're signing. So in every country, or for those who use different sign languages, they can learn the sign writing symbols and apply them to any sign language in the world. And that's the hard work that Ramon did, and other people, of course, to make this book possible. I cannot thank you enough for all the hard work. And I was really happy because we have some software on the web called Sign Puddle. You probably know about this, but it has a red umbrella on the web. You can go to it. It's um, www.signbank forward slash sign puddle. Sign puddle simply means um, like a little puddle or a little bit of water that then becomes bigger like a river and then becomes bigger like the ocean. So a puddle for us simply means people start putting in a few writings of signs. You know, they start to write a few signs from their sign language and then over time it builds into a big dictionary just like this one. And what I love about this dictionary is that it's unique. It's designed differently than any other dictionary that I've ever seen that uses sign writing. As you know, in the old days, before there was a way to read and write sign language, dictionaries for sign languages had to use illustrations, you know, like drawings of the body, or they had to use photographs, or long word descriptions in spoken language that were really hard to understand. But there was no way to read and write sign language before, so that's just there wasn't any other choice, except for video, of course. But um, when it comes to books, I uh, love this new way of doing uh, a dictionary because it's designed in a very unique way. There are no illustrations, but just the written form for each sign in sign writing script, just simply written with the symbols of the face and the hand shapes, showing the sign, and then a word description for linguists, <laughs> for people who have to know a lot about it. And I just love the way it was written with all the little, just perfect. And on top of that, you can find these signs in Sign Puddle online in our software. Just click on the flag for, um, for Catalan. Now, if I have mispronounced that, please forgive me. I know it's La Lengua de Sin Catalana. I hope I said that right. <laughs> no matter what, thank you for inviting me to talk about these books. And um, I want to be able to tell the world about it more. So this is an opportunity for me to um, explain that I did create one little web page on our sign writing website, which is www.signwriting.org. And you go there, and you'll find there's a, a map uh, that, that shows different countries. And you go to Spain. <laughs> and under Spain, there's the section for Barcelona. And um, you'll see that, that we did discuss it briefly. But I'm hoping we can have more communication. And I'll tell you why. We have some cool new projects here in the United States 
and we'd like to share them with the world. And one of them is a Wikipedia. I'm sure you know about Wikipedia. It's a big encyclopedia, but it's on the web. It was developed by a group called the Wikimedia Foundation. And that group is actually from San Francisco here in California, where I live. But the Wikimedia Foundation is a nonprofit organization, and they called on volunteers all over the world to help them build big encyclopedias of knowledge. I'm sure you must have a Wikipedia in your spoken language. Well, guess what? Now we are starting one in written American Sign Language. So we are actually starting the ASL Wikipedia Project. And this is sort of like our logo. You can learn more about this on the web. First of all, you can go to our Encyclopedia Projects page. That's signwriting.org forward slash encyclopedia. Or you can go directly to our Wikipedia in ASL. <laughs> That's the logo of the Wikimedia Foundation's Wikipedia. But now it's written in American Sign Language underneath. <laughs> And we already have four articles written in American Sign Language in there, and our goal is to get thousands. We are going to be translating the English Wikipedia articles into written American Sign Language, creating an ASL Wikipedia. So why couldn't we have a team of writers from Barcelona or your part of Spain writing your language, and we could have a Wikipedia just for your language, your sign language. Now that would be pretty amazing, and it would get a lot of people involved. That's another good thing about the project. So if you're interested in a Wikipedia in your sign language, please contact me. My email is my last name, Sutton, S-U-T-T-O-N, at signwriting.org. And meanwhile, I hope that you'll start writing to me on the sign writing list. We have a list of internet users who love sign writing. They're from all over the world. I'm sure you know that we have textbooks and sign writing from many countries. For example, even from Madrid. I'm sure you probably know about the Parkhurst book from Madrid. This is called Signo Escritura. And they've also written another book recently. A Cross Linguistics Guide to Sign Writing. That's from Spain, from Madrid. And then in Germany, we have a beautiful book by Stefan Bormann. And for example, here is a, a book that I donate all over the world. It's just a little manual, you know, that just teaches the basics of sign writing for anybody, doesn't matter what the sign language. And this is just called the Sign Writing Basics Instruction Manual. If you'd like to have some donated copies or you'd like to download them on the web, you can. Just go to signwriting.org forward slash lessons. Anyway, I got distracted. Um, I wanted to tell you about the sign writing list. You can join the list and it's free and everybody talks about sign writing and ask questions. Let's say you wanted to know how to write a certain sign. You can post a question to the list and either I or one of the other really skilled people on on the list will answer and teach you how to read or write that sign. And we can also teach you how to use the software so you can start adding your own signs to sign puddle, etc. Or if you want to do a Wikipedia, we have to still work with the Wikimedia Foundation to set that up. But um, we can start the ball rolling if you're interested. So contact us. And Ramon, I hope you're going to come and visit me and show me more of your work. And I am interested in telling more people about this book. So if you have other groups in your area that would like to have instruction, I could send them the instruction manual that I just showed you. And um, I could refer to this book more. So we're going to work together, OK? All right, thanks very much for inviting me to talk. And I look forward to any questions you'd like to send me. Thank you. Bye.